thanks. And uh, let me get my screen set up. I guess you weren't ready for that, were you? It was uh, surprising. It's a little fast. See, you always get excited about all these questions coming on the webinars. <laughs> um, all right. So. Um, do you want me to just run through the whole thing, or is there some particular aspect of it yeah, you want to show? We, sh we should keep it short and sweet, but I wanted to hear all the things, what are people wanting to, hearing, wanting, wanting to hear is what you're excited about, and then close with a, a distinction between this and the pro version. Okay. Which is what all you right. get at the $147 level, unlimited, and, and other things. Exactly. So let me just go into the, the one that I was creating for our last webinar. And... I, I think that the thing that oh, – there's so many things about this that I love. Um, <laughs> Don't get you started. This is hard. This is hard. So one of the things that I really like is we've, we've put a lot of work into making the steps a lot more obvious and a lot more granular. So this is just kind of like it walks you through from beginning to end everything that you've got to do for your site. So obviously as soon as you uh, create your site, the first thing you have to do is import your keywords. And then you come over here, once your keywords are imported, they all show up here on your keyword decision screen. And it's pretty quick to just map out your site. In just a few clicks, you can say, hey, I want this, this, and this. And I want them to all be silos. And that's probably not the best idea because it's got a filter in it. So let me just go like this for a second. <laughs> OK. Um, but yeah, so good. So I can just go click, click, click. And I want to add three silos to my site. Your your most um, the most beneficial keywords, the keywords that you're going to make the most money out of, are going to float to the top. And so the idea is, you've already done a little bit of research in Pain Finder. You know where the pains are in the marketplace. And so you come in here and you're like, okay, these are all keywords that are associated with the pains that my product or service addresses. And so you can just go down the list and start at the top, pick the best ones, and go, okay. That's what I want. Move it to my blueprint. Your blueprint maps out so fast and easy in this version, it's just insane. And then once you've got your blueprint mapped out, you um, you come over here to design my site. No, I think we're already on design my site. Sorry, not quite enough coffee. <laughs> you know, we come here to market no, publishing. Haven't had any today. <laughs> I haven't had any coffee today. <laughs> this is a test. I'm off of coffee. Beware. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, um, so you come over here and you say, okay, hey, I, I want. I want to put my whole website up right now. You click the whole thing. You prove it for publishing. And now everything, the entire structure that you've created, you can see it's all got the little worlds here. The entire structure is, is ready to be exported. And you can come over here to build my website. We talk you through all the things that you need to think about. You can grab your plugin right here. There's um, a couple of videos. And then once you've installed your plugin, you come here to export. We've got another video that shows you exactly how to, to use the XML and import your data into your blog. And boom, Bob's your uncle. You can literally, on the webinar um, on Wednesday, I built the site in 30 minutes. And I did it while I was talking. If I'd been thinking instead of talking, it probably still would have taken me 30 minutes. But, um, but it's down from like, I don't know, a week or something stupid that it used to be. So it's just, it's incredible. Um, and I don't mean a week with Domain Web Studio Pro. I'm talking a week back in the early days with Kraken when you run through the, the, uh, the blueprints yep. over there. So, yep. um, so the other thing on this version that I really, really like is are these icons up here. This is the inline help. It's going to, like if we come back here to import your keywords, the, the, it's context-sensitive help. So it tells you exactly what you need to do with videos and everything. Um, on the inline help, and then you've got a little checklist that walks you through. This is the step that you need to do on this particular screen. And then that right there, it always shows you your blueprint. This is my favorite screen out of all of Domain Web Studio because I've got a bird's eye view of what my blueprint is. I've got my silos over here, the categories, the supporting articles. So these are all keywords that I chose. These are the primary terms that I've chosen for each page. Each line represents a page. And so this is the primary keyword. And then over here I've got all my supporting keywords and synonyms that you can also add on the keyword decision screen. And, um, and then I've got what the value is going to be. This is my revenue per month. And, um, and so I can see in a heartbeat how much I'm going to be making. You can also see that here. There's a little um, view blueprint cost analysis. There's, um, the screen takes a little bit of time to, to paint because it's doing a whole bunch of calculations. I 
our other programmer took a look at it and he's like, what are you trying to do? Calculate the entire debt of the Russian government? So um, <laughs> what? it's a great screen because it just it looks at all the finances from your blueprint from every single direction. And, and the thing that is really cool about this that I was telling Russ the other day, the reason why we built this whole aspect of Domain Web Studio was because I was doing um, cost forecasting for a really big client and they were looking at two radically different business models. One was um, they were going to vet and place nurses, and the other one was they were going to do affiliate marketing. And the, the person that I was working with, he was like, so could you tell me like, like how much money we're looking at making and going down either one of these paths? And I'm, like, I'm thinking to myself, vetting and placing the nurses, like it make an incredible amount of money, something like $750 they were netting off of each nurse that they placed. I'm like, how can you, you know, how can you even think about stacking that up next to affiliate sales? Well, it turned out the affiliate sales were actually like 10, 20, 30 fold more money, um, estimated anyway, than it was going down the, uh, the vetted nurses path. And that was so counterintuitive to me that I was like, Matt, we have to get this so that you can see this information inside of Domain Web Studio. So, all right, that's what makes me excited about Domain Web Studio. So now let me show you some of the differences between um, between this and Pro. I don't actually have Pro up yet, so let me go log in. Um, now Pro, as the name kind of in... You Implies. Who do you recommend? Uh -huh. Who's the type of person? Who's the type of person that uses Pro? So the unlimited and Pro. The um, the idea behind Pro, the the kind of person who would use it is um, if you're going to take this more than just um, a single site. So like, let me come back here for a second. So this what this does is the the one site license gives you a the ability to put in just one empire and one site and one empire, and you can run through that. Which is, if you're trying to do, if you're trying to do this comparison thing, like what I just talked about with the nurses, you're going to be hard pressed to do it. You're going to have to put in all your data. You're going to have to delete all your data, put it all in again, and then you know save it off in between times so you can compare the two. So if you're doing a lot of sites, or if you're doing comparison marketing or that kind of thing, then I would say go with the unlimited version. If all you want to do is basically get together a blueprint and give it to people or put it up yourself, or if you're a small business, you know, you've got one website that you're focused on, then the light is, is perfect for you. If you've got one site that you're focused on, if you're a small business, then the single site light is absolutely perfect for you. If you're doing multiple sites and you want to compare your sites, then I would go with the unlimited package. And Pro, the thing with Pro is um, you've got it takes you beyond just getting your website up. You've got team management. You've got the ability to be able to put your content into Domain Web Studio. And it, one of the most amazing things that it'll do for you is create an entire promotional blueprint for you. So, um, and, and then you can manage your team to actually go and do all the promotional stuff. So I have to admit, when I was before Domain Web Studio, when I had big clients, this was the part that would just, I would pull my hair out. Um, first of all, there's creating and keeping track of all the third-party platforms, but even worse than that was, just trying to find the, this link that I want, um, up here, um, even worse than that was trying to, to determine which keywords I was going to promote for the next six months because they always had a budget. So let's say that their budget's like $10,000. And you want to figure out which keywords you're going to promote and how you're going to promote them on which platforms and do what over the course of the next, oh, I picked a blueprint that doesn't have any keywords in the promotional side. That's a shame. Anyway, what this will do is this will show you exactly how much money it's going to cost you for your keywords. You can come up here and you can turn keywords on and off and you can fiddle around with it until these charts meet your clients or your own requirements for what your budget is. And then you can hit a button and say finalize it, and it'll go and create all of the tasks for the next 6 to 12 months. Depends on how long it's going to take to rank for the keywords. It's going to create those tasks 
from beginning to end, and it's going to tell you blow by blow, week by week, exactly what you have to do for exactly which keyword on exactly which platform. And the best part, you can assign it all to other people. So you get your team going on, and you you just see, you click all of the videos, you assign it to your video person, you click all of the blogs, you assign it to your writers, you click all of the, the promotional platforms like um, um, all of the citation sites, and you assign it to your SEO guys, and you sit back and relax. You have a margarita, you've done your hard work, you assigned tasks to everybody. And then... Okay. <laughs> all right, Sue, uh, okay. we, gotta slow you, we just got to slow right. you down a little bit. Um, can you go to the promotional blueprint? There's a lot of questions coming in. But they don't know what you mean by third-party platforms. So can you explain what you mean by promote, yes. what kind of third-party platforms it manages uh, in the pro version? Because this is not in the light version. That's and so true. That, that is a distinction, and people are asking let me find um, Let me find a better site yeah, that I can... Sorry that we don't have any data on that one, because yeah, it's really so cool let, when the data's there. Let me find <laughs> one that's actually got data. This is a better yeah, we one. don't want to demo, demo anything with no data. What? What? You know, we actually hadn't planned on getting into DWS Pro at all, but we had so many questions coming in, so we didn't really prepare to get into it too much. All right, so let me just um, see if this is going to paint a prettier picture. Okay, let me see if I can answer some of these questions while it's painting. Uh, yeah, so Sandra will cover that. Um, yes, team management is pro, Sandra. Still uh, doesn't want to paint. Yes, and you have the correct price point. All right. Uh -huh. Thanks, Bob, for that typo. I will fix that. I always reward people for typos. There's nothing worth than spe spelling that wrong. Okay. Um, changing it now. Okay, so this is the promotional platform screen, and we break this down into different kinds of promotional platforms. As you see, we've got quite a few. These are the ones that we have vetted. So these are the ones they've got a reasonable page rank. You can see the page rank in this column over here. Um, and then you can see what kind of a platform it is. And you can go right here and sign up for it if you want to, or you can assign it all out. Um, there's promotions which are like, um, well, obviously, press release, blog articles. This is where you want to promote your content on other third-party platforms and drag people back to your site. There's conversations, which are like groups and, you know, these uh, places where you're going to have a network of people and you're going to talk to them and you're going to participate in conversations. So that's why it's called conversational. Then you've got branded or local. In other words, um, these are citation type sites where you're going to go and talk about your website. Like it's just a little blurb typically that you put up with a link back to your site. And then there's media, which is like video stuff. So those are the four different kinds of things. And obviously the branded stuff, like this only happens once. You, you have somebody set those things up once and it's done. But the other things um, are ongoing, the other three flavors. Yep. Here's a great question. I'm going to reverse back to uh, the light version. This is a distinction issue. Okay. Um, you know, if if I get the one site license on light, when I do a site and move to the second site, well, I typically need any of the data from the one site that I had to delete to the second site. And I just wanted to add to him that some people do use, in fact, quite a few agencies use this all this data ongoing as an archive for benchmarks. So if you're not if you don't have a problem with that, you don't mind blowing all the data away. You just do it over again, um, then you can. For beginners, it's totally fine. And then you just import well, another site. But if people are serious about multiple uh, data archiving and the rest, we recommend the unlimited. Let version. me give you the other caveat. If you want to add pages later, then yeah, I can't. you you can't. I mean, because <laughs> the way that the plugin works is it knows it, it uses an internal number inside of Domain Web Studio to know what your page layout is like. And so you've got all your pages, you want to add more pages. When you go to upload it, it's like, oh, yeah, this is a, a child page of this. Or it's like, oh, we don't have this yeah, anywhere, exactly. so we'll add it on the side. Exactly. So, um, and I also wanted to, to point out to everyone, too, like, just an inside scoop of why we decided to do this, is I wanted to make sure that everybody, including beginners, uh, had, the, had the way to afford this. Exactly. And, I figured, and we figured that if you got your first site up and running and are making a ton of money, especially if you start doing the blog boosting crazy stuff that I'm not supposed to show you, but I am, that kind of stuff, you're going to make money if you've got a buy button that is not completely stupid, meaning 
you're making you know some low margin and you're competing with everybody in the universe. If you follow our basic steps in the niche domination course, you can carry a product and make money and if you're good about it, um, one site will start getting you profitable and then you could upgrade to. So this is why we wanted the light version is so that you could get rolling at an affordable cost. Um, blowing away the data I wouldn't do until the site is profitable unless you're milling out sites and flipping them on Flippa or something like that because I know there are a couple uh, people I recognize here who are good flippers um, and that's great. Uh, so that hopefully should answer that question. All right. So, so we, should, we need to keep progressing forward. So. Okay, so let me just clarify this thing that Sandra said. Um, that you can't add a silo later with the light version. You can add it, you just can't add it if you've deleted the site. And that goes for any of them. If you delete the site, even in the pro version, then it's, um, you can add, you'd have to add an entire silo. I, I'll take that yeah. back. You can add an entire silo, but you can't add on. on, yeah, you can't add on other pages underneath existing silos. So Stu, let me ask you to make sure that I'm clear because mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of these questions coming in. The distinction is if I leave my data in DWS, uh, I can continue to grow the site. Right. So it's like if you keep the plant where it is, you can keep growing it. Right. But if you uproot it, um, not so much. Right. Okay, that's all we need to know. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay. Because I have a lot more presentation. I understand. Are there any other, okay, you guys, there's a lot of questions here. Uh, thanks, Bob, got that. Um, okay, we had pages over time. If you upgrade, can you import the one site already in light? Uh, Stu, that's a great question that Bob has. If he decides to upgrade later on, does the data transfer or yes. does he have to start over? It's, oh, yeah, oh, Matt, Matt had a brilliant idea. He's like, let's keep it all in the same database and that way it upgrades and downgrades as you move back and forth. And so, yes, all of your data will follow you. Okay, all right, excellent. Thank you so much, Sue. Um, there's a lot more questions coming in, but please be advised that Sue and Matt and myself are going to be giving full-on webinars on a regular basis with this stuff. Yes. And also, do be advised that if you go to networkempire.com forward slash members dash area, we'll toss that link out to you guys, um, that there's some great webinars that show how all this stuff works. And uh, we have brand new ones coming because the software is evolving so quickly, quickly and so powerfully that we need to keep them updated. 